Today I'm going to talk about CK12.org. This is the website of the CK12 Foundation whose goal is to provide high quality textbooks at no cost to anybody. What makes this website really neat is that it allows you to create and customize your own textbook. You can include as many or as few chapters in your textbook as you choose. You can even customize the text within those chapters. It's a very customizable textbook and for that reason CK12 calls these flexbooks. You can save a flexbook that you create as a PDF, which really caught my attention because you can use that as a textbook on an iPad, on an Android tablet, on a netbook, laptop, desktop. That versatility really caught my attention. Now, if we, I'm going to scroll down and show you some of the options you have. Now, at the moment, the options you have for Flexbooks are 6th grade math through calculus. That just means you click on one of these textbooks. You can view the table of contents from that textbook. You can preview each chapter to see if you want to include it in the textbook that you're creating. We've got science from middle school earth science down through physics. And there are other subjects ranging from SAT prep. There's a couple of American history textbooks, composition. Those are all the options you have thus far. And if this looks like something you might be interested in, if you go to CK12's website, just under the big CK12 is a little how it works. If you click on that, there's a nice little video that they show that will walk you through the process of creating your Flexbook. Now, I really got into ebooks when I first got my Kindle. A Kindle is great for reading for enjoyment, passive reading, um, but for a textbook I don't think they've really caught on. You need something that you can actively read, that you can interact with. Uh, these downloads for the iPad will download your textbook in EPUB format and you'll be able to read that in iBooks, but that's kind of the same thing as the Kindle. You can't really interact with it as much as you need to uh, with a textbook. I'm going to make another video about how to use a PDF and a PDF viewer and note taker app on an iPad for a textbook. I think that's a really viable option. So look for my next video on um, e-textbooks on an iPad.